totally and brutally honest here. Sean Corbin makes Valerie Brudov look like Ivan Drago. It's as simple as that. He's beat what's in front of him tonight. He faces me. He's gonna visit mental demons again. And let's get let's get something straight. Come to me, mate. You come to me. Next time, ain't no judges gonna be needed. I'm gonna do worse than Kovalev. I am gonna do worse than Kovalev. On Saturday night, mate, you better hold it together. I'm gonna smash it near you to pieces, mate. I'm gonna hurt him. When he gets in the ring and we get 10 ounce gloves on, I'm gonna smash his head to bits. I'm gonna do it November the 30th against all odds. No matter what people say, the journalists write what you want. All as I'll say is tune back in and then look at me on December the 1st when I am world champion. It's as simple as that. I'm willing to die in that ring. It's as simple as that. I am willing to die. I'm willing to die, Sati. Is he? You fucking rat! Belly of the week, starting off with Cocaine Dawkins. He's nominated Amanda Serrano. She blocked him after he called her out on being a hypocrite. That's what Twitter's about, everybody. If you call somebody out, they block you. I've been blocked by many a person for that. Anyway, LL Cool K, Kurt Ward, used to be on the pod, not anymore, has nominated a few guys for talking up the Tyson Fury, Otto Wallin fight. Big H said, good fight, can't wait. Altham says, good fight. Big H again says, remember when you laughed at Ruiz versus AJ? It's heavyweight boxing. This is a tough test for Tyson. Take your word for it, sir. Adam Smido Smith threw one in as well. Uh, a subtle nomination for Billy Joe Saunders in an interview with Boxing Social. Uh, Billy Joe Saunders was talking about the problems AJ could find himself in the Ruiz rematch. It's catch 200 for AJ. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? That's about 188, was it 178 above catch 22, Smith? That's quite a catch. Smith agrees, everybody. Let's move on. To, to, to Toby Hines has nominated Eddie Hearn. Is Varda or Ucad fairer, or does it depend on who you promote? Ben North jumped in as well, nominating Eddie. You know what he's like. He'll say one thing to one person and one to another. Won't hold that against Eddie. Uh, Joe Thackeray has nominated Roshi Warren, putting up a picture of his family. I tell you what, must have been a fancy dress party. Some of the photos they were putting up there. You have to see it to believe it, everybody. I'll put it up on Twitter for you. Luke Baker has nominated Josh. If you asked everyone before AJ's loss against Ruiz, they would have fancied AJ to win against Lennox Lewis. Now the fickle fans will say Lewis. AJ would beat Lewis with power. Lewis wouldn't have been able to hold AJ for 12 rounds. That's at JB07. Quite a few of that nature coming in. Ian Morton has nominated AJ for his conspiracy theory interview with Anna Woolhouse. Uh, Blue Eyed Boys nominated a few other boys talking about AJ against Lewis. A lot of this talk was going on. Uh, Sonny Boy was nominated by Michael Bellinger. If McCall and Rackman could put Lewis's lights out, then AJ would smash his lamp into a million pieces. Well, Luke McCall actually didn't put his lights out. That's a, that's an error. Uh, Anthony has nominated... Who's this? Uh, Joshua for claiming Ruiz beat him with a punch from the gods. Uh, here's one for you, Andy. Box Royalty has nominated the one and only Tyrone Spong. Apparently Spong facing charges over a cougar escape in Florida. Mr. Spong, eh? who, Mr. Co- Mr. Spong, who lives in Florida, has a cougar and apparently it's escaped, but he won't be facing charges. <laughs> Fucking hell! I, oddly enough, this is just totally off off topic actually, but I didn't. I just punted his name. Are you right enough? I just punted that into YouTube there, but I noticed he's fighting. Uh, where was it? Give my sentence. He's fighting in Mexico. Um, when is it? 31st of August? Mm-hmm. On, Jun- on Junior Granales' undercard in Mexico. I just find that kind of odd that a Surinese fighter, heavyweight, 13-0s, fighting TBA in Mexico. Someone who's actually in the, w- actually in the world rankings at heavyweight. And that. What the fuck's he doing fighting in Mexico? I thought Spong might be doing something with himself, but there you go. Junior Granados was the guy who fought Conlon in Dublin, wasn't he? So Spong's obviously scrambling around for any well, opportunity. To be honest, well, his last opponent, that guy, remember the one that Bacoli smashing around in his last fight there? Oh, yes. Did anybody see that? Uh, well, that, uh, apparently Spong won a sp- uh, split decision against him in, in his last fight in Surinam. Really? In Surinam. Aye, oh, no so way. read into that what you want to read into it. Like. I think that tells you all you need to know, Andy, so no more. Uh, King Usyk has been nominated by Editing King, shout out to him. AJ has fought better heavyweights in his short career than Lennox Lewis as Mr Usyk. Just flicking through the old nominations there, trying to find someone else. Porky's Corner has nominated KJ Montagu. He was getting sucked in by the guru, up to his trolling best all week. 
Smiggers Titties has nominated um, well, not Patrick Connor. He put up the picture of Javonta Davis looking like it, looking like an absolute fat mess. And if anybody's seen this, Davis looks absolutely terrible on either Instagram or Snapchat or one of those places. Huge, massive belly, and they're making comparisons with Adrian Broner. Davis needs to sort himself out. I was asking to hate to Dave Loback last week about whether he could be the sport's next pay-per-view star based on financial projections. Well, he's going to be a big fat mess if he doesn't sort himself out, Javonta. I need to put an arm around you. Bring you back into the real world. Uh, nobody needs to put an arm around Floyd Mayweather. He's been nominated by Chad Hogan. The numbers don't lie and Boxrec told the truth, he says. He's been nominated as the greatest fighter of all time, according to Boxrec. A lot of people going on about this algorithm, these numbers. I'm not getting involved. No, I couldn't care less, to be honest. Uh, Chad Hogan has nominated the Celt. Carl Froch would have destroyed headbutting Ward if he had come to the UK. Uh, Danny Ruiz Robloski has nominated... The Inquisitor, I think it is. I see haters. Ask them what happened when Lewis lost to Oliver McCall. Did it stop his legacy? Ruiz is far better than McCall. Ruiz is far better than McCall. Fucking hell, says Danny Robson. That's all the nominations I've got, guys. I did have some more, but uh, you've got to cut them sometimes, haven't you, when you're getting a bit late? It's 25 past 10 now. Any nominations from you, Ozzy? No, nothing from me. Nothing's caught Ozzy's eye this week. I think AJ's got to be a frontman, Andy, for all the bullshit he's been coming out with. Trying to yeah. say like, lucky punches and Dr. Joseph as well for his conspiracy theories. Any nominations you want to throw in? They're just the ones that I sent you, mate, to be honest with you. Um, AJ's definitely up there. Um, what are the, what was the, the main ones again? Guys involved in the sport rather than the fucking idiot fans and trolls and that. What was the main ones? Joshua, Gad, who else? Joshua, Tyrone Spong for letting the cougar out of the bag. Eddie Hearn, as usual, for... Ten different messages. Davis. Yeah. Um, Roshi um, Warren for coming out like fancy dress. Can uh, we put Conor McGregor in? Oh, adding Conor McGregor. Yeah, what happened this week? He was busy punching some old guy, wasn't he? Yeah, it was his first one Absolutely in three years, actually. First, first one in three years as well. But, um, no, nah, no, honest, I'm, I'm going to go with AJ in that because... Um, just the way he sounded, man, it's, uh, it's, it's totally delusional. I mean... If, okay, people follow me on Twitter and stuff like that, right? I, I, I cop a fair bit of shit for time to time, right? And it's always the fucking same fucking comments, and that's always like, oh, you're a hater, you just, you're, you're, you've got a hard on for Eddie Hearn, the other hating and all that sort of stuff, and all that sort of shit. But the end of the day as well, you know, I watch fucking boxing, Spencer Fearon, but, um, and I try and fucking, you know, watch a fight, and I try and get a reasonable fucking breakdown or, you know, a reasonable kind of thought as to what I see in a fighter, if I think he's going to go far and all that sort of stuff, right? I said for fucking, I'm not going to say for day dot, but I said he was well overrated. People said the same thing. It's not, it's not fucking yeah, new news, right? But the delusion coming out of the fucking camp recently is incredible. But Antonio Tarver, as I say, is, if you think I'm hating, what's Antonio Tarver, who's been there and done it by the way, saying on Twitter last night, AJ, contact me because you need help. Because that, that video you, that you released is fucking delusional. Exact words, apart from the fucking comment, obviously. But, you know, that's a, that's a pro fighter saying that. So if it's me saying it, I'm a hater. What's Antonio Tarver? Is he a fucking hater? Or is he just like me, watching something that unfolded and seeing a fucking fire unravel in front of our very eyes? And listen to him now, it's not an unraveling, it's an unraveling in every fucking sense. Mentally, physically. It's just like he doesn't want to be there. So, as I say, is I've got to go with AJ this week and that. So it's just it's like he's trying to convince himself, and they have people saying like, um, uh, it's just uh, again as I said earlier on, it's like he lost a close fight or you know, the stoppage was like, you know, it was a, a weak stoppage or whatever and that. People seem to fucking rewrite history about about that fight. I just think it's it's wrong, and uh, again as I said, he's got too many ass lickers on about him. Fucking tell him what he needs to know, know what he wants to hear. Uh, it's that simple. <laughs> AJ for Andy, AJ for me as well, yes, if Antonio Tarva, he's a guy who knows delusion when he sees it. Hey, today, who are you going for this week? Is it AJ for you as well? He's a strong front runner. It's got to be AJ. And I just want to put a quick note in there as Andy was talking about, like, us being haters and whatnot. We've been talking about this a long time. Um, and if you go back, this is something I did after his loss earlier in the year, which was a wonderful moment for many. Um I went back and listened to some of the ep- episodes, um, like, right after his, his some of his other fights. Like, I listened to the one after the Pavekin fight. I listened to the one after the uh, Takam fight. 
I don't know, I was quite impressed, honestly, with our analysis of his flaws. We were spot on. We called it, like, way back then, you know, these are some of the things that he's got to watch out for, and they're and exactly that. I mean, it's not, it doesn't take a genius to, to, to notice his flaws either, to, to be honest. I mean, let's be fair. Um, but, you know, we've been saying this all along. It's not like we're haters. We're just, like, calling what, calling it as we see it. No hate and here, yeah, calling it as we see it. Spell of the week. Yep, AJ. Looks like it's going to be AJ Aussie. Three down, one to go. Who are you going for, sir? Who's getting your vote, Oz? You're on the mute there. Sorry. Uh, I think it's only right that Femi does get that uh, W tonight and claim the uh, claim the award. Congratulations, Anthony Joshua. Winning in... Maybe not in the ring, but out the ring anyway. You are the Bell of the Week winner for episode 336. Well done. <laughs> 